Are you a React Native Expo developer? Watch this video to learn how to set up push notifications in under one minute using nativenotify.com. You'll be able to send yourself a push notification in under two minutes. And we'll also show you how to use our API to send push notifications as well. Before we get started, if you'd like to see more videos about React Native, Expo, Flutter, things like that, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time and we'll go ahead and get started. The first step, if you haven't already, is to go to nativenotify.com. Click the sign up free button. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. That should take you to a screen like this. If this is your first time, you'll wanna click this create an app button, then pick your framework. We're gonna be using React Native Expo. So you wanna click that button. It should take you to a screen like this. You can come up here to update the name of your app if you'd like. Uh, I've already updated it to say Expo Test App. We'll just go ahead and go through uh, these steps together. Uh, this video, we're gonna explain our API. We just came out, we just published our API that you can use uh, to send push notifications using the API. Uh, but we'll go ahead and just for those who haven't set up push notifications before, we'll just do this real fast together. Your first step is to copy this, uh, install these things into your terminal. This is my uh, React Native Expo managed workflow app. So you don't have to eject out of Expo to use Native Notify. You can stay in Expo. All right, I just installed Native Notify. It says step two is to import uh, this register in in push token function. So uh, you'll want to do that in your app.js file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right there. All right, and a big thing here is it says make sure in your uh, app.js file, make sure it's a hook function. A hook function looks like this. Um, it's basically a way to uh, uh, combine functional components and stateful components together. You'll want it to be a hook function. If you're not quite sure what a hook function is, how it works, you'll want to click this link here. It explains how hooks works. Uh, it's not very complicated at all. Um, and then your last step is to copy this. And notice your app ID and app token are already in there for you. Come to your app function at the top there, paste it there, and you're done. Push notifications are already set up. So uh, we can go ahead and test this out. Um, and also over here, if you need a reference of what your app function should look like, here's a reference of what it should look like. Um, to uh, go ahead and test it out, you can just come to your terminal, say uh, expo start. Um, I've already done that, but you'll want to say uh, expo start, enter, and it should look like this. Um, and something like this should pop up. Um, and then you can, uh, for here, it says um, you must either use a phone. You can use the Expo Go app on your phone, which can be found here if you click this link right here. Um, it'll show you how to download the Expo Go app. So you can open it up on your phone and it'll work no matter what. Um, if it's iOS or Android, it'll work. Uh, you could also, if you'd like to, uh, you can open it up on an Android emulator and it will work. It will not work on an iOS simulator. So uh, your options are either open up an Android emulator uh, or go download the Expo Go app onto your phone and open it up directly on your phone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open it up on this emulator here. Um, so I'm going to go to my server and just say run on Android device emulator. All right. And you'll notice here uh, it says you can now send a push notification. You successfully registered your native notify push token. So that means it's all working. Um, and uh, Let's just go ahead and go back to our instructions. So the last step is just go ahead and send yourself a push notification. So this is my first notification title. Uh, this is my message. Go ahead and send that. Okay, and it says it was successfully sent. So let's go ahead and go back to our app to see if it was sent. And it was, there it is. This is my first notification title. This is my message. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. 
and there we go. It took me to this app. This app, by the way, uh, I built this app in a much longer uh, React Native tutorial for beginners. If you're interested in learning how I built this app, you can click this link up here. That shows you a much larger React Native uh, tutorial uh, for uh, getting up and running with React Native. All right, so once you successfully send a push notification, it'll take you here to the send page. Uh, you'll notice down here, there will be your notification receipts. It lets you know uh, the notifications you've already sent. Um, and I'll send another one here, another notification message. Okay. And there it goes. It So the new one appeared right there. And I have uh, the new notification just appeared on my phone because I have this app installed on my phone, this uh, startup notes app, and it should have appeared here. And there it is. There's the notification. So that's how you send a push notification directly from native notify.com. You can uh, feel free to just continue to send notifications that way. There's also the option to send uh, push notifications using our API. If you come down here, it says how to send a push notification using our API. Um, it's uh, say, say you're building an, an app for a client and maybe they have a website, a different website, and you want them to be able to send the push notification from their uh, website dashboard or something like that instead of going to nativenotify.com. Uh, that's what this would be for. You can use this uh, API post call to uh, send a push notification um, using this API. So uh, this would be the API uh, post address. Uh, the things we need are an app ID as a number. It needs to be a number like this. Your app token um, as a string like this. We definitely need a title um, as a string. And then the message of the push notification would go in this uh, body property here. The date sent needs to be a string. Uh, you need to have a date, but you can format this any way you want. Um, you'll notice down here in the notification receipt, it has a date here. All this is, this is a string of the, the exact date and time you sent the push notification. Uh, we do this on the front end here. Um, so you just, on in your code, create a date, however you want it to be, um, and put it as a string here. Um, and then this push data objects optional. You don't have to uh, put a push data object, but if you want to, you can. And the push data uh, object can hold more than just one uh, key. If you would like, you could put a comma here and put more if you'd like. Uh, to learn more about push data objects, you can. Uh, there's something up here that says advanced settings. You can click this. And it talks about how push data objects work. Basically, you can send uh, data with your push uh, notifications. To learn more about this, you can watch this video right here. I made a video on it. Um, basically, you could use this to, say, redirect to a new screen if you'd like. Once the user taps on the notification, it could take them to a new screen. Um, so that's, that's what those are. Uh, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show uh, the API working. So you want to copy this uh, API address. Uh, I'm using Postman. I use Postman to test endpoints. Uh, if you would like to use Postman, you can just come create a post request, put the link there. And then in the body, uh, you can just say raw. That's what I like to do. Um, and it's formatted a bit differently than like with Axios. Uh, if you do a, a post using Postman, you'll need to put uh, double quotations around um, a, around anything that's not a number. So uh, for example, we'll start with the API. I'll just actually, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing. Uh, I'll replace this with that. Um, I'm not sure if this will work. It does. Okay. Uh, so all of these, I'm just going to put double quotations around.
all of these properties. And I believe the rest should work. Uh, I think here for your property, you'll need to put double quotations there too. Um, but yeah, I think everything else should work. This app ID does not need quotations because um, it's a number, so it's fine without it. But everything else needs quotations around it. And this should work. Let's see. Oh, okay. Sorry. So this shouldn't be text. You need to switch this to JSON because this is all JSON. All right. So now it should work. All right, and you'll notice it returns a number. Um, this lets you know how many of your users successfully received a push notification. So uh, th this was successfully received by four people. But yeah, so that's a uh, native notify push notifications. You can be up and running really fast in under five minutes. Um, that's how you send push notifications to everybody. If you come to your documentation, there's more uh, things you can do. You can send, uh, oh, first off, what you just did, that'll get you set up for iOS production and development. This will also be good for Android development, but to get this ready for um, Android production, like on the Google Play Store or as an APK file, there's a few more steps you need to follow. I made a video about that. Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, it doesn't take that long. It's about takes about 10 minutes to get Android ready for production. Um, and then from that point on, there's some other features here. You can uh, send indie push notifications if you follow uh, these instructions. An indie push notification is a push notification to an individual. So what we just did, we'll send push notifications to all of your users. Uh, indie push notifications will be sent to individual users, so one user at a time. There's also a notification inbox. Um, this is sort of like, you know, in an email um, app, you, there's like an inbox where you see all the, not the emails that have been sent to you. That's what a notification inbox is. Um, it makes it super simple to, uh, in your app, you can have all of the notifications that you've sent uh, show up in your user's inbox. Um, and that's what a notification inbox is. Uh, this is a video that talks about it. You can, uh, it should pop up there. Uh, and then say uh, you've sent a lot of uh, fake uh, notifications in your, um, while you're in development, uh, say you don't want some of them to show up in your notification inbox. Well, you can come down here to the bottom this will show all of the uh, notifications that will show up in your notification inbox. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So uh, in this app, you'll notice uh, over here, there's an inbox. And in here, you can see all the notifications that have been sent. So this can be really useful if, uh, say, you have an e-commerce app or something like that, and you send out regular notifications with deals, uh, with um, maybe discount codes and stuff like that. Uh, the user could go to their notification inbox and see all the discount codes, uh, any number of things. Um, if you have like an education app, maybe you send out uh, weekly homework assignments, they can show up here in the notification inbox. You can use it for a lot of different things, but say uh, there's something in here you don't want, you can come down here and delete it. So uh, I'll just delete this top one. It should go away. Uh, so that should leave. This is my title. And it did. There we go. So that's that. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, uh, you can check out that video. Uh, there's also follow push notifications. This is basically a way to create a social network in under 30 minutes. Uh, there's a video I made about that. You can uh, check it out right there. Follow push notifications allow uh, users to follow each other. And um, whenever a follow push notification is sent, uh, the notification will only be sent to that user's followers. It won't be sent to everybody, only the people who are following them. Um, and then there's also this analytics service. Uh, it's super simple. You can be set up in under five minutes. Uh, this is an easy way to track how many users are visiting each one of your screens and how many of them are unique views, uh, not just 
So you'll see the total number of views, and you'll also see the unique views from uh, unique individuals. Uh, here's a video on that. Uh, there should be a video that pops up on the screen. You can check it out there. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Native Notified. If you have any questions, feel free to put your questions in the comments below. If you like this video, please like this video uh, and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.